Hi people, uh, today we're going to look at finding the length of an arc, okay, given the central angle and the radius of a circle. We're actually going to go a little bit further than that and say what happens if they gave us a central angle and the length of an arc, could we find the radius, or what if we knew the length of an arc and a radius and we didn't know the central angle. We'll also check that out too, so don't worry. Um, this video is assuming you watched the previous video that I did on the properties of a circle because it explains what a central angle is, what a radius is, an arc, etc. Okay? So there's a video that comes before this called the properties of a circle that I did. Okay? So let's start by looking at this question here. The central angle of a circle is 110 degrees. So let's first draw this. Whoa, that's my circle. Should I draw, should I make like a really nice one? I don't know. Um, I don't even know if I can, let's see, I'll make it about that big. And the color has to be bright enough for you to see. Hmm. I'm just trying it right now. I apologize for the delay. I really wanted this to look nice. There we go. I love circles. Okay, there we go. It looks so much better. Now, the central angle of a circle is 110 degrees. Well, here's a central angle is an angle formed by two radii, which means two radiuses. And we'll make one right there. And we want it to be 110 degrees. So there's 90. A little bit more than that is about 110. We're not drawing this perfectly, but this is 110 degrees right here. Okay? The radius of the circle is 8 centimeters. So we know that both of these are 8 centimeters, okay? What they're saying here is, it's pretty cool, what is the length of the arc that is created? This is called the arc length right here, and we're supposed to figure out how long this arc length is. That's not the easiest thing to measure because you can't just take a ruler and do that. Well, there's two things you need to know about circles. One is, the circumference of a circle is the distance around a circle. And the formula for that is you just take pi times the diameter, or if you wanted to, you could say, since the diameter is really just two of these radius or radii, you can say it's two times pi times the radius, okay? And that's something assumed from the past that you know, okay? There's the formula right there. Um, the other thing you should know is that a full circle, all the way around a circle is how many degrees? Everybody should say 360, okay? So this comes into making a formula where we want to take the, the circumference of the circle and then find out what percent the 110 degrees would be out of 360 degrees. And that's where this formula comes into play right here, okay? And that's this formula on arc length equals theta over 360 multiplied by 2 times pi times r. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just going to use that formula right now. Um, 110 degrees over 360. Okay, that's going to give us our percent. And then we're going to multiply that by 2 times pi times the radius being 8 here. Okay. Now, if I had more room, I'd write arc length, but I don't have enough room here. You can take your handy-dandy calculator and just go 110 divided by 360, and that equals this decimal right here. And then we're going to multiply that by 2 times 3.14 times 8. And there it is, 15.35. Let's just round it off. 15. Point three five. That, that's the distance from here to here. And don't forget your units, okay? That is in centimeters. All right? So that's how you do it. That's how you find the arc length if you are given the central angle and the radius. This video is going to continue for a second, so you can stop if that's all you wanted to know. But um, there's a question. What if they gave you the arc length and not the radius. What if they gave you the arc length, the 15.35, and they didn't give you the radius? Okay, well let's do that over here in this corner right here. What if they gave us the arc length, and we knew it was 15.35,
and you use this same formula over here. So arc length equals, what if they gave you the arc length and not the radius? Okay, so we don't know the radius, let's say, but we know that it's still 110 degrees. So we know it's still 110 over 360 times 2 pi r. How would you solve this? How would you find out what the radius is? You, you're supposed to find that out. We know we want 8 as an answer here. Well, take 110 divided by 360. 110 divided by 360. You get this decimal here. And I want to get rid of this decimal. I want to bring it over to the other side. We're, we're multiplying this decimal by all of this. So I'm going to go this decimal times 2 times 3.14. I'm going to just round it off just so that it's a little easier to see. So we have 15.35 is equal to 1.919. 1.919. I just rounded it off to three decimal places and we still have our... What did I do? I took this divided by this, and I multiplied by 2, and then I multiplied by 3.14, and now I have this. The way to get rid of this, and you should know algebra by now if you're doing this stuff in grade 12, for example, to get rid of the 1.919, we need to divide both sides by that, okay? We need to divide 15.35 divided by 1.919. So 15.35 divided by 1.919 and we get, hmm, we're going to round this off. Let's just round it off, 7.999. Let's just round it off to 8. It's just so close to 8. And does that make sense? Is 8 what our radius was before? It is. Okay. Um, what happens if we get a question like this? A circle has a radius of 20 centimeters. It has an arc length of 41.9. What is the central angle going to be? Okay, so remember the formula, arc length is equal to the angle they give you, the central angle, over 360, multiplied by 2 pi r. Okay, so what do we know here? We know the, we know the arc length is 41.9. We don't know the central angle. We do know and that's not a zero, folks. This is just a theta. It's just a, a symbol for what angle the central angle is going to be. And over here we have 2 pi, and the radius is 20. Okay, how would we solve this? It's all just algebra now, folks. Um, there's different ways to do it. Uh, you could just go, hmm, you could go, let's see, you could take 2 times 3.14 times 20. 2 times 3.14 times 20 equals, and then there it is, and see we have the 360 down here, so that's like saying divided by 360, divided by 360, you get this crazy decimal. Now we're good, all we have to do is we have this next to theta, and just like the last question, we want to get rid of theta and this decimal here. So we divide both sides by this decimal. So it's 41.9 divided by this decimal here. Okay? Um, 0 0.3489. So, oops, in brackets, 0. Point, boy, that looks too terrible, I'm sorry. Theta times 0. Point, oh boy. Was that what it was? 3489. Hey, my memory sometimes is better than I think. There we go. To get rid of this, divide both sides by this. Okay, so 41.9 divided by 0.3489, and we get 120. So theta would be about 120 degrees. Okay, and I forget what the last question was. It was 110. We changed to different numbers, so that's why that is what it is. 
I thought we were supposed to get 110 there for a second. But this is the answer, and hopefully that's enough information to help you solve the various types of questions that involve this formula right here, finding the arc length of a circle. And these are the kind of variations your teacher may throw at you. Okay, good luck, people, in your quest to solve these kinds of questions. Isn't math fun? Take care.